सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू एच वी थ्री एंड वी आर ऑन लेक्चर फोर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द ह्यूमन बींग एंड दिस एग्जिस्टेंस सो वी वर ऑन द ह्यूमन बींग we were doing a recap of what we learned in uhv2 so we spoke of the self and the body as two distinct entities two realities the coexistence of which of these two realities makes up the human being we talked about the differences between these two units how the needs and the activities of the self are very different from those of the body and how the needs of the self are fulfilled by the self itself so the need of the self for happiness is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling and this is within the self on the other hand the needs of the body are for physical facility physical things material things like food like clothes and this is fulfilled by those physio, you know physiochemical things by the material things so the needs of the self are fulfilled by the self the needs of the body you know, for physical things is fulfilled by physical things we also spoke of the responses between the or the you know types of responses of the self and the body and we said that in the case of the body like with all physical units there is recognition and there is fulfillment so the body the various cells of the body the various parts of the body they recognize the relationship with other units and they fulfill that relationship in a very definite manner so if you eat something that is um nurturing for the body now it will always be nurturing for the body in that quantity never will it happen that something that is nurturing will start causing harm to the body when taken in that quantity but if you look at the cell now here the recognition and fulfillment is based on assuming and knowing you can think of assuming as accepting so if there is knowing if the, supposing there is no knowing there is no understanding we are going by some acceptance without understanding we are going by some assumption without understanding now based on that assumption we have our recognition and fulfillment so if we assume a relationship with somebody that we are related to them our behavior is a certain way our recognition and fulfillment is in accordance with that assumption with that acceptance tomorrow if our assumption changes our behavior also changes today if i assume that somebody is a cheat somebody is uh, not a good person then i may decide you know to behave a certain way with that person tomorrow if i find out no 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 what i heard was for somebody else this is actually a very good person now my acceptance has changed 
my assumption has changed and my behavior towards that person changes. So as long as we keep having acceptances without understanding, we are depending on this assumption for our behavior. So our behavior keeps shifting, keeps changing based on the assumption. This is not so in the case of the body. The body doesn't have a choice in the matter. The body will always respond with the same recognition and fulfillment. So if you are eating you know, a vegetable that is that nurtures the body, it will always nurture the body. You eat a poisonous plant with the assumption, means you assume that a plant is good for the body and you give instruction to the body to eat that plant. Now, body doesn't have any choice. It will cause harm to the body. That is definite. But the choice lies with the self. So as long as we keep having acceptances or assumptions without knowing, we can never be sure whether the response is right or not. And it may keep changing. So ultimately we need to get to knowing. Knowing means being able to see everything in this existence the way it is. Not how we are we may be assuming it to be, but by seeing it the way it is. As an example, right now our focus is on the units. We tend to focus on the units. So we see all these units as separate. There is a tree, there is a dog, there is a cow, there is a plant. There is another human being. All these look as if they are separate units and I am another unit. And it looks like I have no connection with these. Because when I am looking through the gross eyes, I see that that person is separate, this one is separate, that one is separate. And if I look at myself, if I look at, say, the limits of my hand, so if you raise your hand in front of you and you see your fingers, the tip of the finger, the edge of the fingers, those you call as yourself. Beyond that, where there is air, you say, this is not me. This is the air. But the part of the body, whatever we see, we say, this is me. And so we see this separateness between the units. But if we are to get to realization, if we are to be able to see that coexistence, we will see that all these units are embedded in space. And being in space, they are already interconnected. They are already interrelated. They are not isolated. They are not different. There is a connection. Now, my assumption gets set right. Now, I can see that what I could see through the gross eyes was misleading. It was not the right assumption. Now, I can have, now I can see with that knowing by looking within. This you can find out through looking within, looking till you unfold all the higher activities within yourself, till you get to realization and being able to see the coexistence. Then there, there is definiteness. Now when I can see it, I know it, now my behavior becomes definite. It now no longer keeps shifting or changing. So for us to have definite conduct, we have to get to knowing. For the body to have definite conduct, it already has definite conduct. 
in fact it has no choice in the matter it will always be the a certain way so with this we yesterday we had a question about natural acceptance there was some confusion regarding natural acceptance that if we all have natural acceptance why is it that people do things which are not in line so natural acceptance when we say natural acceptance to refer to the natural acceptance we are going all the way to that point of realization within us that pure observer what we call and from there we are referring to the natural acceptance there you will see similarity there you will see definiteness there you will see universality but we haven't all gotten to knowing isn't it we are referring to our natural acceptance and with that if we take guidance from that and bring our imagination in line with it then yes our behavior will be a certain way a definite way but if we are not even referring to the natural acceptance it is there but we are not referring to it we can see for ourselves there was a time we were not referring to it and our behavior was different now we may be able to see that since we started referring to the natural acceptance and since we started exploring trying to bring our feelings our desires in line with that natural acceptance we can see that our behavior is also changing so people can have different kinds of behaviors that is not an indicator of their natural acceptance that is indicating their desire their feeling which is at the level of b2 the lower block and they are operating from there without referring to their natural acceptance so i hope that that clarifies it and for further clarification we had asked for everybody to try to do that reflection assignment about you know how we can see our own natural acceptance and our own behavior how very often it is different so we had said that ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition so you can answer in the chat what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition so it's very clear see everybody is answering relationship feeling of relationship so you can see that at least for all of us here it is verified that the natural acceptance is there for relationship it is the same in all similarly if you ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of harmony or feeling of disharmony what is the answer you get you can put in the chat Yes, feeling of harmony so again this is naturally acceptable to us and we can see that it is the same for all of us now if you ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to you feeling of coexistence or a feeling of struggle what is the answer you get feeling of coexistence or a feeling of struggle what is naturally acceptable you can see that we are getting the same answers feeling of coexistence so you can see that at least for all of us here right now it has been verified that for all of us this is the same the natural acceptance is the same so this was one part of the assignment yesterday 
this is our intention and we can see that this intention is the same for all now the next part of the assignment was to reflect on various instances during the day yesterday when you may have been disturbed you may have been angry you may have been irritable you were uncomfortable within now looking at those instances can you see that your feeling in brackets we put desire because every desire is associated with some feeling and it is that feeling we have to try to experience so everything is about experiencing it validating it by experience so it's no longer just thinking about it no longer just a concept you have to try to see that within yourself and we'll do more of that when we start the exercises so at those times now can you see that your feeling was not in line with your natural acceptance so even though the natural acceptance is the same for all even for us at different times of the day at different moments our feeling may not be in line with the natural acceptance so this uh, was the assignment we had talked of yesterday and maybe if anybody would like to share their observations you can raise your hand or if there are any further questions regarding natural acceptance uh, we can take those uh ma'am uh, actually uh, suppose uh, we work uh, uh, very hard in office or office and we are not getting anything back okay suppose it is uh, some promotion uh, then how we should handle that situation for example all others may be getting promotion and uh, although i am uh, 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 eligible for that i am not given how i can see the situation and how how i can maintain harmony in myself yeah so first and foremost you know right now what is happening right now we are uncomfortable we are unhappy are we doing something about that not getting the promotion are we trying to find out why Lata ji, ah, are you trying to find out why it has happened like this? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes. So, could you get any real reason why? Ah, uh, yeah. They ah, uh, so, so I could um, uh, the reason the I could get some reasons from them, ah, uh, mm -hmm. from the authorities. uh they uh, which is keep which they keep on changing so the the um, eligibility for getting a promotion is uh they keep on changing that uh, um, this uh, um, that eligibility mm -hmm. so i feel that it is for myself just for my uh, not for getting uh, or not for giving a uh, promotion to me they are keep changing their uh, their uh, that uh, eligibility criteria so yeah, that so we will, first of all we will have to check whether this is an assumption that we are having without knowing isn't it hmm. because we right now may feel okay i sh i deserved this i did not get this and this is why this is what they are doing so here what are we doing just for me not to get this is what they are wantedly doing this so somewhere we are doubting the intention first and foremost oh. and it is making us unhappy yeah, we are okay. not really doing anything about it but we are becoming unhappy so all that is being said is you see things yeah. from their perspective yeah. first of all you know evaluate yourself correctly evaluate the other correctly what are those people doing who are getting the promotion and what am i doing different try to see if there is something that we are lagging on 
something that we may be missing. Uh, true, if it is, if I can find that it is injustice, okay, totally injustice. How can I, uh, um, that is maintain my harmony? Yeah. So if you find that there is some injustice, it is possible that somewhere we also may have made some mistakes earlier, because of which there is some assumption in the other person about us. Possible, no? And they may be going by that assumption. Just like we also go by so many assumptions without knowing. Now, first and foremost, if I don't have the right feeling within me, I will not be able to, you know, do anything about it outside or discuss with them or really be able to find out properly because I am already disturbed. You can notice that, you know, when do you do something well outside? You do it well when you are calm, when you are comfortable within. Mm -hmm. If you are disturbed within, if you are already uncomfortable, you tend to make mistakes outside, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, with that trust on intention, that it is not that they don't, they don't you know, it's not that they want to make me unhappy. They do want to make me happy. But there may be some, some lack of competence on their side. But I must also check perhaps on my side. And then with that, I can approach them. And when I approach them, now with a feeling of relationship when I approach, now I am not disturbed. Now I can discuss without getting anxious, agitated, mm. isn't it? Mm. And also we must try to see this, that my happiness I have linked to this event outside. That if this does not happen, I am going to be unhappy. Mm. Now you can make effort for it, but that may not be entirely up to you. There may be only so many positions available. There may be so many instances, no? so many things that may not be in your capacity to change. So that also we must accept or we must be able to see. Is our expectation right? If the expectation is right, then okay, one thing. If our expectation is totally not right, then we are bound to be you know, uh, not have our expectation met. And in that case, we should be uh, able to see that my happiness is not linked to that. Because I am not able to see the happiness inside, I am trying to get this happiness from the outside. Because ultimately, if we see, what do we really want? Is it the promotion? Is it the physical facility? associated with that? Is it the recognition associated with that? Or do we just want to understand and move further? So all of those things we have to reflect on ourselves and see, evaluate ourselves, and then go further. So not that you have to just accept everything and, you know, anybody can treat you whatever way they want and you are okay with it. That's not what we are saying. But whatever you do outside, you can do it best when you are calm, when you are comfortable. If you are disturbed within, you will not be able to do the task outside also properly. Right? So with that feeling of relationship, then we can discuss and we can try to work out what exactly is the problem, why it is like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Preeti Anand Jain Ji. Any questions or could you do the assignment yesterday? Would you like to discuss that? Uh, yes. Namaste, madam. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Uh, yes, I did the assignment. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not Today, I, 
हेलो हेलो आई ऑब्जर्व थ्रू आउट माई डे माई बिहेवियर वेदर ऑन विच इंस्टेंस आई एम गेटिंग इरिटेट और डिस्टर्ब but mm-hmm. i started the day with the goal that no i don't want to get disturbed today i'll remember constant remember this natural acceptance uh, things but the um, one thing that happens with me uh, which mostly happen i feel irritated when um, the surrounding people maybe uh, colleagues or friends or relatives somebody they are constantly on uh, wearing headphone and insta or uh, that means i'm unable to talk with them i need to go in front of them yes i'm talking to you or i need to r- uh, ring the bell for small thing even if the people are sitting together they all are maximum time engaged uh, i understand if they are in the meeting or uh, uh doing some important work then okay so this was the source of irritation usually yesterday happened uh, uh, this source came in front of me multiple time and it was on and off i got irritated and uh, earlier i used to react you were not listening that time you aise uh, kuch alag tarike se i used to react but yesterday the opposition was within me only i didn't reacted outside uh, i tried to understand natural acceptance their desire at this moment is this maybe my desire also may not remain constant uh, every time i feel to do this so why i should get the feeling ki i am never on the uh, headphone and i respond them and they are not responding so by understanding this i yesterday did not reacted and i was continuation in how many once they removed the headphone i was able to talk with them with the same uh, flow properly kuch uh, opposition nahi aise this was my re- reflection regarding yesterday's assignment yeah so nice that we were you know uh, it's good that we didn't react outside but like you mentioned there was irritation inside Is so i need to work out uh, on this more to understand within yes natural acceptance and desires may be different so that this irritation will also be removed within me yeah but more importantly we will see this when we do the exercises is the source of the irritation outside or is it within me so if you see everybody may not be getting angry when people wear headphones isn't it some people it may not bother them they might go up to them and say you know can i talk to you and they'll put down the headphone but we are getting disturbed isn't it same like if you are going in a traffic jam i when i am driving through a traffic jam i may get very disturbed but somebody else who is going in the same traffic jam in a similar car all situation seem similar he may not he or she may not be disturbed so if it is if the problem is if the source is outside it should be the same for all but it is not isn't it different people yes. seem to respond or react to different things so we when we do the exercises we will see this also that it is the problem is not outside the outside is just a trigger that is drawing my attention to this fact but the real problem is inside i may have assumed something i may have this assumption that um you know somebody who is my subordinate should be paying attention to the work and not be listening to other stuff on headphones that may be one assumption i'm not saying right or wrong i'm just saying if we are going by 
something like this that the other person should be such and such now what we are trying to do we are trying to control the outside we are trying to make sure that the outside environment is right for me only then i'll be happy so we have linked our happiness with that outside event but we'll come to this in more depth when we do the exercise and you'll be able to see that until we resolve these kind of issues we will not be able to have that harmony within because again and again that assumption will play it out you know that the other person should behave a certain way other person's behavior is not up to me i can enforce it for some time but i cannot expect that everybody outside should behave a certain way isn't it so we we'll look at all that ji yeah? madam ji ma'am actually uh, uh, at the time of maybe important work or kind of emergency uh, also if i am unable to reach to them contact to i mean talk mm -hmm. with them matlab wahan tak reach to going there and then talking agar utna time bhi nahi hai so that time i get irritated but earlier uh -huh. this irritation got started uh, irritation is some disturbance that started when i look around ki everybody is on headphone and for more time maximum time then matlab a kind of feeling of vatsalya or i used to feel that hey you will uh, spoil years whole day on headphone aise lagta tha but i didn't teach them they'll understand but during discussion i used to talk but then slowly it turned to are they not listening mujhe kuch important bolna hai aise sometimes happened but you now ha uh, that when you are under stress yourself there is some work that needs to be done you have not been able to finish it in time now there is urgency now if the same situation comes now you are very disturbed but when you are you know there is plenty of time you had a good day you are comfortable inside everything is okay then that same incident may not bother you yes you not at all yes it is not at all bothering exactly so this source of irritation is not outside it is inside and we have to resolve that so we'll talk more about it when we do okay. the exercise okay yeah? okay ma'am thank you ma'am question on this slide should i ask now yeah this slide current slide uh, mm -hmm. knowing assuming recognition and fulfillment so as uh, earlier discussed body and i mean i asked this question earlier workshops on uh, but uh, i needed to explore more so i stopped but still please help me out to explore to understand the point of knowing uh, self and body difference so self is continuous knowing is there body is giving information ki this happened and based on that information and giving instruction to the body i mean self i understood this but uh, are these five senses only responsible to give me information can't the knowing uh, be um, beyond this uh, when we are with the body that means Uh, when uh, medical emergency, I mean, when doctors say that brain dead, uh, coma, brain dead, who? But the person is. Heart... Let's not get into too many things. Let's just discuss what you just asked, right? Ah, so person... my question is, Sim, ma'am, the brain dead. That means, uh, heartbeat is there. Brain is not working. That means body is not responding to the cell. So in that condition, the patient will. get the feeling of i mean will be knowing the i mean self first is point, still in a process just, of let me just cut you short here first and foremost when we say self has knowing self has potential to know we haven't reached to the knowing yet isn't it we may be largely going by assumptions so knowing is a possibility in the self the self has the potential for knowing body does not have the potential for knowing but the self right now 
does not have the knowing and right now what we are doing is we are taking information through the five senses of the body but that possibility of knowing more than that or getting more information than what we are getting through the sense organs that possibility is there when we turn inward and look within but right now it is just a possibility because we haven't reached there so it is a potential that we need to tap but we haven't gotten there yet right okay right. okay so till then the self is dependent on body body is dependent on self dependency hai ha huh, if we are not awakened to our higher activities then we go by you know if say there is some problem in the body then i feel helpless but if i can see my potential then i can see that yes every unit has some impact on every other unit so the body also has an impact on me but the subtler the unit the more uh, impact it can have on the grosser unit so the self being more subtle than the body it can or has the potential to overcome many of these um you know things that influence me through the body right even now we can see even without knowing we can see there is some pain in the body if i pay attention to it i may get very disturbed with it but if i don't pay attention to it i am busy with something else you know my best friend comes and starts chatting with me i forget about the pain the pain is still there but now it's not bothering me why because i'm preoccupied with something else so yes. there also you will see even though we haven't reached to knowing right now we are doing many things based on various assumptions but we'll talk of this in little more detail as we go on yeah all right ma'am i understood when the uh, when we reach to that level self may attention then we may not get the knowing or pain or from the body material correct ha ah, and knowing has to do with the seeing the whole picture so not just the human being but everything at every level where i live human being family society nature existence being able to see all of that and understand all of that that much potential is there in the self yeah okay uh, yes ma'am thank you ma'am okay devi prasan mishra ji if you have something quick we'll take that then we'll move on yes namaste namaste uh, it is a clarification that uh, the real meaning of a uh, relationship harmony and coexistence is it within the four orders and interdependence on each other or uh, something else yeah so you will find that the pattern in existence is like this that every unit abhi we leave aside the human being because human being may not be fulfilling for the other orders but if you look at the other three orders the pattern in existence is that they are fulfilling for each other so they are recognizing the relationship and they are fulfilling that relationship for each other but if you look at the human being we may be going by various assumptions right we may not be able to see this whole existence the way it is so right now we may not be going by that but ultimately this you know this pattern in existence when we are able to see it then we will bring our feeling in line with that so we will have that feeling of harmony feeling of relationship feeling of coexistence those are feelings that we can have within us so that part you know the feeling is within us within the self but this is the pattern in existence this 
we'll be able to see as we unfold the higher activities within us. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is the relationship between the human being and all other three order, and also uh, side by side the relationship between uh, uh, individuals in the society or yeah. family. Everything, every unit in the existence. Okay. No, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so one more hand is raised, but I think in the interest of time, we'll go ahead because uh, we'll go to some more content now. So if we can go to the next slide. Yeah, here you can see in this slide, this is an example of a self that is unrealized, a self that is largely functioning with the B2 block. So the higher activities right now are missing. And in the lower activities, we have mentioned desire, thought, expectation. This should also probably be a recap for most of you. So when we say desire, we have some desire. Whatever our desire is, it, you know, if you look within, it is visible as an image. So we call it imaging. So this desire, the power to desire, that is within us. And with that, when we desire something, what is happening within? You have some image, some image comes before you. If you look at the thought, now desire is about what to do or what to be rather. So if you look at the desire, like we mentioned earlier, ultimately the root desire is we want to be happy. That is what we want. But when we are not able to see that, we think this thing, that thing, that thing will give me happiness. So I may desire a car, I may desire a house, I may desire for something to happen outside. Ultimately, I want to be happy. So desire is about what to be. Now, if you see, based on the desire, we start thinking about it. That is our dimension of thought. With the capacity to think, we start analyzing things. With that, we are able to compare things. So if I want to buy a car, now my thoughts will be about how to accomplish that desire of buying a car. So I may think about, you know, do I have enough money in the bank? Do I have to take a loan? Should I ask so-and-so? Should I do this? Should I do that? How to go about it? So I'm thinking about that. This is the uh, power to think that is leading to these activities of analyzing within me. And on the basis of that ana analysis, I can compare the options. Right? So this analyzing and comparing is done with the thought. Now, when you come to expectation, expectation has to do with my, you know, um, interaction with the outside. Right now, not interaction, but when I am um, considering something outside. So that has to do with selecting tasting. And what is selecting tasting? You will find that already some taste may be there. Taste meaning not just taste, but any of the senses. So if I see somebody with a nice looking car, a red looking car which was going on the street. I liked that car. I liked the look of that car. Now that is a taste within me. So now when I go to buy the car, I start looking for a car with that similar look. And I choose or I select something 
which matches the taste that was already there within me. So you'll find that expectation has to do largely with the senses, largely. So the five senses, whatever appeals to that, we go by that taste and then we make some selection based on that. So this is how um, we keep going. This is how, this is what is continuing within us all the time. We may or may not be aware of it, but every moment we are selecting something, we are, you know, on the basis of some taste, we are choosing something. Practically every moment. Important thing to see is that when the higher activities, we are not aware of them, then this desire that we have, we are um, basing this desire on something that is from outside. It's certainly not from within because our higher activities, we are not referring to our natural acceptance. We are not referring to, you know, the higher activities have not unfolded in us. So at that time, our desires are being guided by either of two sources outside. One is the preconditioning. For instance, I may have heard earlier that anybody in such and such position travels only in this kind of car. They don't travel in, you know, ordinary Maruti or Hyundai or something. They travel in, say, Toyota or something. I have heard this. It has become a preconditioning in me. And so when I reach that position, I have this desire to buy that particular brand of car so that I can, uh, you know, I link my happiness with that. I think that I will be happy when I do that. But the reason I am thinking that is not my own. It is something that I heard outside that has influenced my desire. So that can be one thing. And we'll see many a time our desires are being governed by various preconditions, things that we have not verified for ourselves, but something we have heard, something we have read, something you know that we heard, saw in the media or whatever it may be. And many a time, our desires are being guided by that. Another source of our desires being guided is through sensation. So like we were just mentioning, you see somebody going with a certain type of car. Now, I didn't have a desire for a car, but I saw somebody going with a certain type of car. Now I start having this desire. Maybe I should also have a car like this because it looked nice. I like the color and so on. So you'll notice this is happening quite frequently in our day-to-day -day life and we may not be aware of it. But there is a third source for our desire and that is the natural acceptance. Only we need to refer to it. When we refer to it, then that can be the motivation for our desire. And that is truly our own desire. That is truly what is coming from within. But we need to become aware of it. We need to refer to it. So, um, if there are questions on this part, we can take them. Um, Kaushal Kishorji, did you want to say something? Kaushal Kishorji, your hand was raised. Did you want to share something? Uh, no, my no. It is by mistake, it is raised. Okay. No. Yes. So, if there are any questions regarding this, we'll take them. Otherwise, we'll move forward. Okay. 
So we can go to the next slide. Yeah. So here you can see in this situation or in this state, this yellow part, the imaging, analyzing, comparing, selecting, tasting, these are the activities that go on within us. Can you go back to that slide? Yeah. So these are going on within us. And as of now, the higher activities within us have not unfolded. That is the state of our working through just what we call block B2. So when we are working from block B2, when we are going largely by our preconditionings and sensations, you will find that sensations are unguided. So we may keep you know, if you look at the sensation of taste, take if you, as an example, if you take, you know, something that is uh, a favorite piece of something that you like to eat. So some people like potato chips, some people like mixture, some people like whatever. So if you take, you know, some, something like that, now, when you sit down to eat, you find that you may have thought about it earlier that I will take only two, three pieces, then I will stop. But often it may be happening that you take one, you eat it, and as long as that taste is there, you are liking it. Once that chip is over, it's gone inside, you know, I have swallowed it. Now the taste is gone, right? Now it has gone into the body. Very often, I will start looking for taking another after it has gone down so that I can have that taste again. So, of course, when we have, you know, no guidance from within, then we may keep eating like this. And so you see today so many problems with obesity, overeating. What is happening here is my source of happiness, I am trying to see it outside. Because inside, I have not unfolded my higher activities. I don't see the happiness inside. So I am looking for happiness outside. So my senses are unguided. And I may keep doing this again and again. To a small extent, you will be able to see this in whatever you are eating. And for that matter, all the senses. So, the senses are unguided. If you look at the level of thought also, you know, as you go within the cell, your... Um, because, again, the happiness is missing inside and we are looking for happiness outside, we may start thinking about money as a source of happiness. So we start accumulating more and more and more. And our focus becomes profit. Where can I make more profit so that I have more money? We may not be in that state now, but and if we are not, that's very nice, very good. But even if we are, we can see that here there is no guidance from within. I may have assumed something that if I have enough sufficient wealth, I will be happy. With that thought, I may be going for more and more and more profit. And it may be to the extent that I am exploiting others. So it may go, that is the meaning of unguided. Unguided health means my focus is so much on the body 
that I am not making effort to keep the body healthy, but I start, you know, panicking about every small detail in the body, and I try to do, you know, lot of big tests. I uh, will go to the hospital for every small thing. I am overly kind of uh, focused on the body and the health of the body. So I think that this will be better for the health of the body. Therefore, I do all these things. I go. I have kind of outsourced that problem to somebody else, and I think money will take care of it. So I am consuming. more and more and more in the effort to maintain the health but i am not able to see my participation my role what i need to do to keep the body healthy so this is how the state would be if the lower activities are unguided if we are going by whatever the you know inputs we are getting from outside without referring to our natural acceptance i think there is a question here uh lata ji lata ji did you have a question um uh, uh, i think it uh, came by mistake okay uh, okay all right so um we can reflect on this today and I'm see if i doubt on the previous slide the word assumption always means it is uh, not based on knowing no so natural meaning of uh, assumption means there is no knowing associated with yeah here when we are saying But assumption without knowing assuming it knowing like that it is always without knowing let me answer here when we are saying assumption you can think of it as acceptance mostly we think assumption means it's always wrong it's yeah. not in line with knowing but here when we are saying assumption you can think of it as acceptance whatever i have accepted to be true yeah okay so yeah. if it is based on understanding then it will be definite mm -hmm. yes. my acceptance is definite mm -hmm. if it is based on some assumption without understanding then this acceptance will keep shifting mm -hmm. okay so look, yes. look at it as acceptance i would say okay okay ji so um today we can reflect on this we can try to see in our activities today what uh, what activities uh, the activities that we are doing where we are taking guidance from within and where is it based on some assumption from outside some preconditioning from outside which i have not verified so our behavior will have those um you know it will be based on something so is it that i am taking my behavior of course is depending on the desire within right with that my thought goes in line and expectation and then the behavior comes according to that so we'll try to see what exactly is guiding my desire is it preconditioning is it sensation or natural acceptance at different times during the day because this will keep changing 